I think, uh, as I look at it, uh, some progress, uh, some signs of progress, some, some signs of stability. We have stabilized share in some important markets uh, around the globe, including in the U.S. Um, I think that's first and foremost in terms of if I look at revenue, for example, up 4.9 billion to 28 billion in the in the thir in, in this we call it the third quarter. I always will fall back to the third quarter, but this period from July 10th to September 30th, part of it was the reduction in inventories that we saw in the second quarter, the first and second quarter, and then basically running our plants uh, more normally, certainly at a still low level, but running our plants more normally once we started back up as we began in the third quarter. Uh, I would say, though, when you come away from it, uh, we lost money uh, uh, during this period of time. $261 million was the EBIT loss, and then you had about a half a billion dollars of items, uh, and then you had uh, interest. So about a billion uh, pre-tax and about a billion two after tax during this period of time. Again, these are managerial numbers. Not satisfactory. Uh, I mean, certainly much lower than... Uh, than what it has been, uh, although it's not necessarily comparable, and certainly better than uh, our plan going into bankruptcy. But nonetheless, it's a loss, and you cannot be satisfied with it. With respect to uh, the loan, what we, what we announced is that we would begin the repayment in December uh, of, of this year, $1.2 billion, a billion dollars to the U.S. Treasury, about $200 million to the Canadian government. Begin that this year. It's a, it's, there's a repayment schedule. Uh, we certainly felt, given, uh, given our liquidity position, that we were able to do it, and we're committed to do this. We have to begin the process. It's a personal commitment. It's a commitment of the entire leadership team of the company to repay the taxpayer, first and foremost, from repaying the loan, and then over time, generating value in the shares so that the taxpayers benefit as major shareholders of the company.